So uh, some of you mechanics out there may be short on a magnetic, um, a magnet of any kind, or a magnetic screwdriver, which is, would be preferred. So what you can do, you get a, it uh, doesn't matter if it's Phillips or flat blade, a large screwdriver, and a smaller screwdriver. And you take your, your large one, and you're just going to rub on it. And that sets up a short-term static electricity charge in this. My science teacher once says it's just putting all the electrons in order. It's okay, so let's see how this works. There we are. Look at that. So if you dropped your little screw, and, oh, I don't have a magnetic screwdriver. Well, we just made one. And remember, you use a bigger one or a little one, and I mean shaft diameter there, and you just rub on it. Rub on it hard. Ah. And you just, you know, just, you know. Okay. So it holds a charge for about mm, um, 10 seconds? Yeah, it's still working. And sometimes all you need is just to slide it, you know. You guys, you gals know to work on cars. And, oh, I dropped my screw, oh, my nut, my bolt, my stud, whatever. And you kind of just get down there and you just enough. Sometimes, you see, we, this one's got enough strength. That's pretty cool. And you just can pick it right up. And it's like... Wow. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can try it again. And actually, oh, check it out though. Now it's now you got it magnetized. Okay. Now, see, you can almost start it in a weird position. I'm starting to lose it's starting to lose its magnet now. But yeah. But you can kind of use this and and, and it'll start like that. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. And you just put it in there and turn you go. There you go. Right on. Thank you, Mechanic Bruce. Thank you. Tip of the day.